So I'm muck removal. Um, just a quick announcement. We want to emphasize at these conferences you know, the, the focus on uh, solutions to coastal water quality, uh, novel solutions, novel technologies, policies that can enable uh, an expedited uh, transition into a cleaner, cleaner water qualities. So recently, John and I sent out for some, sam some samples for isotope analysis. And so we have ammonium nitrogen in pore water with values ranging from 5.9 to 10.7 per mil. In interval again, we've done a pretty good job at reducing point sources, so it's about 2% in the Banana River, 1% of the total nitrogen coming into the Indian River. It's a very applied conference, um, and what I like about it is that we take our knowledge of science, our knowledge of the environment, the Indian River Lagoon, and we apply that to develop solutions to help solve issues that we're seeing, things like water quality, muck removal. Um, and so today we're going to hear from a number of different people, different ideas, different methods that they've come up with um, to kind of help rectify some of those issues. This project has been aimed at kind of that surgical idea of dredging, of looking at just picking up the fine sediment in muck so we, get, we can get the muck out without disturbing that natural sediment layer. Then we added on this passive jetting system, and the idea behind that was when we're creating that pressure gradient with the suction inside of the shroud versus the outside of the shroud, the idea of that was to kind of pull water in in a passive way rather than actively jet the system. When we looked at bioplowing from an engineering point of view, we wanted to control it. So if I'm looking here, bioplowing risk, the, the, the progress we're making, we now can look at it in terms of probability and effect but then engineering solutions. Why use bio rock, right? It replaces plastic mesh with steel mesh. I think we all think if it would work, it would be a good idea. Iron is environmentally benign unless someone tells me otherwise. It forms calcareous chalks that cement the oyster <laughs> shells together, that's good. It may create a microchemistry that enhances oyster growth. No idea, just a hypothesis. This year I'm really excited that we have the support from the National Estuary Program as a major sponsor and uh, what that says to me is that you know, we have the backing of the community uh, to keep this going on into the future for next year. Uh, what we hope to accomplish this year is to really kind of refocus on novel solutions. Um, what's the next step forward? We've, we've kind of wrapped up about three years of looking at environmental benefits of muck dredging. Um, and I think there's there's still more work to be done there, but really what's next? You know, where do we go next? What's the next innovative step into coastal water quality?